right, Virgo, welcome back to your weekend love reading. So, happy birthday, Virgo, if your birthday was 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Happy birthday all the way through the end of the month into September. I hope you guys are enjoying, if you're having a birthday today, and your birthday weekend, I hope is wonderful. Um, please be mindful, these are general messages, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Um, do subscribe if you enjoy my channel, and get that like button a nice tick upwards. And um, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I just opened up the personal reading so they'll be starting in uh, September. Okay, so you can go over and, you know, book your reading for whenever you like in September. Okay, Virgo, let's see what your love messages are for the weekend or what else you need to know going on for this weekend. I just want to give a shout out to Andrea for my lovely Virgo cup. Thank you. And I'm going to display it here on my channel. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. What's got Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Virgo's birthday weekend. For Virgos who have a birthday this weekend, 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Everybody in the chat, hope you're doing well. I still have the sniffles. I just got the sniffles again today. It's like never ending. Okay. All right. Eight of Wands. Wow. You're getting some heavy duty communication over the weekend, or there's traveling or going on a trip. Um, these are Cupid's arrows. So lots of love coming in. Could be from a fire sign. Um, for some of you, I'm feeling possibly Sunday. Um, I'm also hearing somebody might be from Japan. I just heard. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, there's like some good news. It's good news that's coming in for you. Okay, let me see. Wow. And you've got the Nine of Cups. So <laughs> this is like wishes coming true when you blow out your birthday candles, make that wish. Or if you already had a birthday and you're, you've been making a wish, or you made a wish, it's coming in here for you. Um, whatever this wish is, this wish coming true, definitely over the weekend. Let's see. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Wands. Hmm. They just gave me this phrase, the buck stops here. What the heck does that mean? Spirit, talking to me in a funny way. The buck stops here. Okay. You know, it's just so typical, Virgo, because it's like... You know, you, you're getting your wish coming true, whatever it is, whatever you've been setting your intentions or praying about, whatever you've been wanting to happen or manifest, you know, it comes in and then Virgo's like, wait, stop, hold up a minute, bloody stumps, they need to see the bloody stumps. And if you're new to my channel, the bloody stumps term means if somebody's coming back around, um, after doing you wrong, they need to be coming in with their leg cut off below the knee and uh, willing to limp for you for the rest of their life. <laughs> okay, now for some of you, it could be a bloody stump situation where you've got somebody who's coming in or reaching out or sending communication or messages. Now for others, this could be somebody you don't know that you could be connecting with. It could be a water sign. I'm picking up water and fire um, where this person's coming in and this is something that you want okay virgo but at the same time you've got your guard up here okay you're blocking the door in you have your guard up you're kind of like oh i don't know why because i've been hurt in the past i've had things happen so you're a little bit i feel like once bitten twice shy a little bit gun shy here for you Okay, but there's definitely going to be some communication and something that you have been. This is almost like <laughs> going through airport security. You know, like somebody comes in and it's almost hard to believe that this this communication of this good news comes in. It's like pinch me. Okay, but at the same time, you're like, I'm going to need to see your papers. I'm going to need to verify. There's a bug on my card. What the heck? 
I'm going to need to verify that I'm going to need to see some ID <laughs> before you can collect uh, 200 before you can pass go. That's what I really feel like is going on here. And you know, you do what you got to do. Okay. Even if this is like somebody coming in with like, um, like I said, that bloody stump, you still got to check, right? So you're going to be doing that over this weekend. You know, whoever's coming in with this uh, message, you might meet somebody if you go to like, um, you go to like some kind of event over the weekend, or there's, I feel like um, you're sitting at a table. Maybe it's, oh, they just gave me, somebody's going to be at the beach. Um, or if you're sitting in a bar or a restaurant or something and somebody comes up, you know, uh, I kind of feel like you're sitting there by yourself or you just come to sit down and you're not even paying attention. You just go to sit down. You're not paying attention really. And somebody comes up to start talking to you. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's the Knight of Cups. Yes. Yeah, so there's definitely going to be a love offer on the table as far as, as far as love goes. Um, somebody offers to buy you a drink or they bring you a drink or they go and get one. If you drink or they refill your soda or your iced tea or whatever you're having, um, you know, it, and it, it could be a wedding. It could be at the beach. It could be some event, um, socializing kind of a thing. You could just be sitting at the lunch table at work and somebody comes up and offers you, um, you know, a drink or there, I just heard somebody say, here, taste this. Does this taste funny? <laughs> Something like that. There's like some sparks and some communication that kind of starts, but you're a little standoffish just at first. You're kind of like stepping back like, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. And there also could be an offer for travel. Um, talking about traveling or asking you if you want to go somewhere or if you want to connect. But the overall... Where's my deck? The overall message I'm picking up is that there's some type of a wish coming true. Something that you've been manifesting or you've been hoping and praying about definitely coming in for you. Okay, let's see what other messages for this weekend. And or, and or for some, a love proposal, a love offer. Spirit, what other messages does Virgo need to know for their birthday weekend? And for those who don't have a birthday. Okay. All right. You've also got communication, some truth and clarity coming in. Wow. Here you go. Three of Cups sitting right underneath the Nine of Cups here. So that's what I'm saying. Um, hmm. Friendship. Maybe you're spending some time with friends. Um, Okay, there's a breakthrough with a reunion for some of you, um, which is, there might have been like some type of reunion of some sort, or getting together with friends or some type of a gathering. I'm picking up wedding, festival, festivity, happy times, maybe a baby shower. Um, you might get an invite to a baby shower, but some, somebody's getting communication. Somebody's realizing some truth here and uh, is quite focused on you and wanting to connect with you so definitely um definitely some com some communication a text an email a phone call okay now i just heard some of you have received calls from unknown numbers or an unknown number and you're not sure who it is, you're going to get clarity about this over this weekend. Okay, maybe they're going to call again. And I don't know if you're going to pick up a phone or respond to it. But um, you're going to get clarity about who this person is who's calling your phone um, unknown or like maybe from a blocked number. Then, And that's a very small message for some of you Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra and energy. Okay. Wow. Here we go again. <laughs> Five of cups. That's the second time now. There's somebody here overall who's really grieving the loss of a relationship. Somebody's missing you. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Knight of wands and the 10 of cups. Yeah. Somebody wants to come in here and have this happily ever after with you 
okay now could it be a romantic connection it could be for others it could be like a long lost family member who's going to be kind of hanging around or you might be seeing over this weekend um and then what is this truth you know there were some obstacles with someone here could be a friend a family member a lover but there's like clear cut communication and truth clarity being given it might have something to do with marriage and also someone who's very passionate we have sagittarius energy as well let me see what is this clarity what is this truth um there might be some truth somebody gives you um they kind of tell you you know they were talking to somebody else and things didn't work out and you know they yes they were dating and they made some mistakes and they don't want to or they they're ending something with someone or they're leaving a relationship or a marriage okay what other truth clarity oh okay you're going to get some information about a pregnancy as well for some of you this could be a mother figure your mom um or an aunt <clears throat> wanting to connect with you or it could be um a mother figure it doesn't have to be your mother okay but there's also um somebody might tell you they want to have children with you um oh wow and for others, somebody's going to tell you that someone was pregnant and then that pregnancy ended or there was a betrayal, okay, um, or someone, there was a curse. If somebody, they're giving me the word cursed. Somebody was cursed, okay. Interesting. Somebody was bad, bad mouthing another person and that truth is coming out about that. Wow, that's crazy energy over this weekend. Okay, so a little bit of drama. A little bit of drama somebody was like a real garbage real garbage okay let me see garbage behavior um betrayal somebody was lying about a pregnancy as well okay in order to trap another person okay that's cool hey all right let's see what else is going on what else okay now you've got the ace of cups oh yeah chariot the moon oh my goodness okay queen of wands there's a fire sign here okay let's see okay you might be on the cusp of leo virgo like i know you guys from the 23rd up until like 25th 26th kind of cuspy energy there maybe a little bit of the uh august 20th through 25th 26th so okay this could be you so i just feel there's an opportunity for a brand new love start here okay with a fire sign all right somebody that's coming in with that leo energy now if you you may not know this person okay um this is also they're telling me someone who could be they're just saying on the cusp of cancer leo which would be um like july 23rd Somebody could have a birthday around July 23rd or the 18th. Okay. So let me take a look here. There's some secrets. So if there's somebody new coming in here. I feel like this person, they're very much like a dreamer. This person shows up like a dreamer, very emotional. There's that Leo card again, the sun. Oh my goodness. See, Cancer leo okay some of you are going to be meeting somebody on the cusp this person could be a work in military be in military or um they might be a driver or they work in military um or police fire hospital kind of thing um this could be somebody meeting somebody new when you're you're out during the day in a sunny place is how I feel. For some of you, this also could be um, Aries or Sagittarius. This feels like new down here. New love, definitely. Meeting somebody new over the weekend while you're out traveling or just going to the grocery store. Okay. Um, let me see here. Or if you go somewhere sunny or if you are, like I said, at a beach, this could be the wishes coming true up here. Okay, Virgo. 
This looks like um, kind of an exciting weekend. We have three different storylines. So one of them will play out. I'll give you one more just to see what the energy is. Okay. Um, let me just hold on a minute. Okay. They just gave me New York as well. They just gave me New York. I feel like I get New York all the time. Or a place where there are, um, okay, now they're telling me the Twin Cities. Well, now I don't even know where that is. I just heard the name, the Twin Cities. And for others, um, okay, they just said Arkansas. I, I don't think that's the Twin Cities, but I just heard Arkansas. I don't, okay, that's an interesting message. And then I'm also picking up... Um, these, um, I see these two buildings and they're like exactly the same. Both of them, there's two and they're exactly the same. Okay. And I'm picking up somewhere in Europe. All right. Somewhere in Europe. And they're also giving me, um, the Middle East, I'm picking up the Middle East as well. May not be those buildings, but definitely Middle East energy. Okay. What's another message? For Virgo, okay. Page, okay. So if you have children, I feel like you're going to see your kids over this weekend or grandchildren. Also, um, mm -hmm. Virgo, this is you, the high priestess, because you're kind of a witch or a sorceress or a sorcerer. Um, okay. You're definitely. So another message here is you're going to be getting some invites, some offers, some apologies. Um, a, a connection some of you might be going hiking with the page of wands I always feel like when we have that staff there that stick like you know there's going to be some hiking or something um but I also feel like um you might turn some offers down or an offer down by somebody you know or be undecided okay um or feel like maybe this is a missed opportunity but I feel like you're not really gonna look you're very quiet here you know, you're trusting your intuition. There's something going on, some information that you have over this weekend where you are kind of like maybe not knowing what to choose or who to choose. You might have two offers coming in and you're, you're keeping some secrets over this weekend. Maybe you don't want to reveal that there's two offers <laughs> or don't want to reveal two people. Um, what are they telling? They're telling me you don't want to tell one person about another or tell another person, like both of them about each other. Okay. King of Swords is here. <laughs> what? So, okay. This is Libra in energy. What's going on with this King of Swords? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius again. What is going on with this? Okay. Wow. Okay. Hmm, there's a king of swords that's going to be showing up, male or female energy, it doesn't matter, who is kind of like drained of energy, but it's not going to quit. It's not going to give up on you. So I don't know if you know who that person is. This could be somebody new coming in. You might have um, some a couple offers, but one of them is not going to take no for an answer. And you're also, you have the King of Cups as well. And the King of Cups, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I'm picking up so much Pisces. Um, this King of Cups has got the hots for you. Okay. Male or female energy. Okay. Very passionate about you. This weekend looks like a lot of people are coming out of the woodwork. You know what? We are in the Mercury retrograde shadow, pre-shadow. Okay, if you guys, I think it starts September 9th or maybe the 7th, but you're in a pre-shadow phase. So there's a lot of people coming out of the woodwork here over your weekend, or it's going to start over this weekend. Virgo, <laughs> just breathe, man, just breathe. You just need to breathe over this weekend, whatever you're doing, I, because I feel like you've got people from the past coming back. You've got new people showing up and some who, who you're not even going to know who to choose. You're going to have, it, it feels like a lot of offers, a lot of surprises coming in over this weekend. And it's like, what in the heck? Let me see what your messages are like strictly for you. 
what you need to know. Okay, you've got some fear and anxiety over this weekend. Oh, you have a fear. Somebody's spying, watching you online. Okay, and maybe it's causing you anxiety. You might know about it or you might find out about it over the weekend. Um, that somebody's watching you and it might stir up a little bit of fear or somebody's trying to find some stuff out. One person, two people, five people, whoever is all showing up here. Look, oh my gosh, spying and deception. Virgo, that's twice. You've got somebody here who has got their eye on you and they are watching you. Oh my goodness. Now that's either your fear and anxiety about that or it is another person and they're spying on you because they think that you are gone or that you are not coming back or they're looking to see um, and it's causing them a lot of anxiety and I know some of you are like nobody can see me because I'm not anywhere and that's why they're spying um, to try to see if they can catch a glimpse of you somehow some way it's so easy to you know just these days before you have to look someone up in the phone book you know, it's so easy anymore to just try to find somebody who's just taking the time and digging a little bit, you know, and I feel like that's what this person is doing and why. Okay. Oh, mature, dynamic, fiery male. That's our king of wands. This is um, male or female energy. This is Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. So yeah, there's this. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not too... Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure. <sighs> Let me ask, who is the fear and anxiety with? Is it Virgo or is it the other person? Oh, <laughs> it's your twin flame. Oh my goodness. For some of you, Gemini, they're telling me. Um, this person, they may not know twin flame. Maybe they do. But this person wants to talk to you they are they know that you all right we're this is the third day in a row now we're back on the twin flame thing this person wants to reconcile that's whoever they are your twin flame whoever your twin flame is is trying to reconcile now maybe that's the person up here i don't feel like it's new people here um it could be somebody who's you know coming in with that apology how they were betrayed or felt betrayed or something happened with them um not sure if you're gonna take them back <laughs> or if you want to move forward with them okay well this person's got a good bit of oh uh, they may have a good bit of money or they have they have some assets if you know what i mean um yeah, there might have been some arguments or a separation or it might show up over the weekend. This person spying on you. I just heard somebody is somebody is thinking to themselves that you're only looking for someone who is in super good shape, has a lot of money and has a lot to offer. Um, I feel like there's someone who's very fearful that they're not good enough for you. And there might be some arguments or, se or some separation over this weekend. Okay. All right. You've got good friends. Huh. Okay. They're just saying this person, your twin flame, regrets telling you or treating you like a friend. Okay. They have regret for that. Regrets telling you, let's just be friends or regrets cheat. Or I almost said cheating. Regrets. Um treating you like a like just friends because i don't know they must sense that you have some options or something something comes up over the weekend where somebody's like oh they know you're hiding something or even if you're not maybe you, you might not be doing anything virgo but you're keeping quiet you have like you're just like keeping your secrets you're not things yet to be revealed okay you're not revealing too much of anything here and uh, over this weekend and i think you're you're drawing people into you here's a reconciliation card just keep showing up you're drawing people to you you're drawing a past person to you you've got somebody here who you've had a struggle with a twin flame who is watching you and um they are now very bold they, they got a lot of balls <laughs> watching you and spying on you like who does that that's deceptive energy um 
but this reconciliation card someone from your past returning to your life and i feel like that was showing up yesterday and deception again here we go someone wearing a false mask somebody masks okay um somebody's hiding now that could be you you could be it, it, it's not deception with intent to hurt it's deception in the sense of like not revealing anything all right so this person may be trying to reconcile with you over the weekend and you might not be revealing anything going on with you but i did feel like you were going to find something out over the weekend about someone who like i was saying might have been calling your number or texting from an unknown number or sending strange messages to other people that you're connected to to try to get a hold of you and you may not have been able to put your finger on it but it feels like you're going to find out over this weekend who it is and i think you already know okay forgiving and learning releasing and healing the past to have more love in your present moment so that feels more so like your energy here your message focus if this is your affirmation for the weekend forgive and move on heal so you can have more love in your present moments i feel like the weekend message for your birthday is forgiveness and healing okay so i'm going to leave your messages there your weekend messages i know there was quite a few so if you need to pop in your headphones come back later re-listen to the video um and happy birthday some of you are blowing out some candles this weekend um or as i'm t you're listening to this video i hope that you have a wonderful happy birthday virgo and um i will see you guys back here on uh sunday evening all right take care bye